Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, December 24th, 2018. I'm Brett Price, your new Eastern Corn Buyer. I've been the LGS Western Corn Buyer for the past year, but I'm excited to get to know and work with our Eastern Corn Growers. This is a special edition of our market commentary video, where we'll take a look at the market outlook for 2019 and dig into what to expect for corn, soybeans, and wheat. Experts say actions on trade in the first half of 2019 will decide agricultural's fate for the years to come. The issues on the table include U.S.-China trade resolutions and lingering matters of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement, which still needs to go through Congress. If a U.S.-China resolution isn't reached by the 90-day deadline for negotiations, the additional proposed tariffs on imports of Chinese goods will be implemented. But if a deal is reached and additional tariffs are suspended, this would gain cheers among many. In a recent survey by Purdue University and CME Group, Farmers indicated they are confident soybeans will have a better price in 2019, meaning they also believe that U.S. and China will resolve any trade disputes. Still, even when the trade war is resolved, the export market to China won't bounce back immediately. Some experts suspect soybean acreage to drop, despite the optimism. The USDA is putting soybean prices anywhere from 735 to 985 next year. There's no doubt and uncertainty in exports. All eyes are on South America when it comes to global corn supplies. The country has seen favorable weather conditions, and experts are expecting a massive South American crop for the 2019 marketing year. Argentina has seen good rains while Brazil is concerned with above normal temps and soil moisture. The U.S. market is currently assuming there will be a substantial increase in U.S. planted corn acres for 2019. Many believe some producers will shift acres from beans to corn due to export uncertainty and prices. Experts believe if there isn't a large increase in U.S. corn and acres, but demand remains strong for the new year, we might see some upward price movement in corn. U.S. wheat acres dipped to a 100-year low this growing season, but experts believe that will change for 2019. The USDA forecasts 51 million acres of all wheat in the U.S. for the new marketing year. Check our LGS messages for modified feed hours during the holidays. As always, if you have any questions, please give us a call at any time. If you haven't downloaded our mobile app, go to your app store and Google Play and search for the Tyson LGS mobile app, where you can sell and manage your grain anytime, anywhere.